now we go out and about with Jiminy Glick. I am so excited about my guest today because he is an icon and he's a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Vanilla Ice. Thank you for being here. How wonderful to see you. Ice Cube, man. That's me, Ice Cube. But you went by Vanilla Ice, and then that changed. Here's the first question out of the gate, boy. Why change the name? I never changed my name. What are you talking about? It's in the notes. These notes rarely lies. Often they do, but rarely. Suge Knight hung you out the window, and you got so scared that you said, I don't want to be Vanilla Ice anymore. I want to be Ice Cube. That's what I was told. That's a damn lie, James. Never, ever have I changed my name or Suge Knight hung me out of a window. If Suge Knight hung me out a window, I'd remember. If Next Suge question. Knight hung you out of a window, both of y'all would fall out the damn window. <laughs> Can we start the interview, Let's man? Let's start the interview. You. you changed your name, though, from Vanilla Ice. How come? Never changed my name. My name's always been Ice Cube nice. since I was 12 years old. What about O'Shea Jackson? O'Shea <laughs> is the name my mama gave me. <laughs> God, in the, there's that wonderful, Robbie Burns once said, the poet, oh, what a tangled web we weave. When first we practice to deceive. Who? Robbie Burns, a Scottish heard of poet. A Scottish pimp? Poet. Oh, I thought you meant a Scottish pimp. Poet, a okay. Scottish I'm poet. I'm a poet too, a Scottish pimp, okay? L.A. pimp, Ice Cube. And then you became a technician. No, I became a rapper with the group N.W.A. And that was successful? Yep, and it meant niggas with attitudes. Oh, my goodness gracious. The word attitude is the word we don't use anymore. Yeah, but attitude is what people need. Some people need a little attitude in their life, you know, and it gets them going. And you did a song called Straight Outta Compton. Straight Outta Compton, That's yeah. wonderful. Where's Compton? It's right here in Los Angeles, a little south of where we are, a lot south of where we are. <sighs> Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I've never been I there. I know, I know. I've never I been know. there. I know, trust me, I know. And I don't really plan to go there right soon. I don't think you ever going to go there. No, 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 I wouldn't. I love Rex Harrison. He was one of the first rappers, because he was, your wife's a woman, different than a girl. And he did that in the wonderful My Fair Lady. I'd love to get you a copy. And who? Rex Harrison. You don't know who Rex Harrison is? No. Oh, my goodness. I'm sending you a series of books over on people, people that you should know about. Do you know Big Sam? Big Sam. I have From my neighborhood. I these, had... are, these are people you should know. Big Sam. Do you know T-Bone? I've eaten a T-Bone several times. I had one for lunch, smothered it in bacon. <laughs> I loved it. Well, you eat all, my friend. I got a friend named Hot Dog and a friend named Donut. Do you know any of them? Why would I want to know any of them? They've got their sound like mental people. But these are people I know people I grew up with. Why should I know the people that you want me to know and you don't want to know the people that I know? It's an interesting question you've laid on me, Vanilla. My instinct tells me that a lot of the people that you're referring to, I would pretend to like, but in the car ride home, privately, when I was doing notes to myself, I'd have to admit that I didn't like them. But I do think in reverse, if you met Robbie Burns or Rex Harrison, I think you'd say, you know what? They're fun. <laughs> All right. Now, in Three Kings, yeah. Marky Mark was in that, but he doesn't want to be called Marky Mark. No, nah, don't call him Marky Mark. He's the third nipple. Did you know that? <laughs> How many you got, man? This is a true story. We had a litter of puppies, <laughs> and the mother died, or, okay. or ran off, or committed suicide, or was depressed, and the, and the puppies literally nursed on my nipples for fire, and I kept those dogs alive until I took them to the pound and had them destroyed. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Ice. Cube. What, how, what do I call you? Can I call you something? Call me Cube, man. Cube, man. Cube, man. No. Ask you, what? Just Cube. Just Cube. What is the ice obsession about? Because it describes my personality. Because you cooed. Or because when heated, you melt. <laughs> <laughs> Which What you here? think? You don't seem cold at all. You seem warm and loving. And you seem kind and gentle. Hold on, man. You do. Hold up. You seem, Hold up. You seem... Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. No kind, no gentle, no warm. I excuse my name. It describes my personality. That's it, man. I went into the room, 
and you had a leotard on, you had said, can you do this kind of stretch, and your leg was high up, and you had a thing on Nureyev on TV. Is that the kind of image you're trying to hide from people? What kind of image are you trying to hide from people? Because I hear your voice go up real high, then go down. I can, I can do a lot of things, but I tell you, I can't do a plie like I saw you doing in that room. This has been absolutely so much fun, Ice Cube. And I want to end this interview with a little rap song that I made about you. Oh, God. <laughs> he's got a beard. Some say he's weird, but he's my kind of fella, and that's true. And every time he walks down the street, he says, uh, I wish I could eat some beef stew. I haven't worked out the ending. I haven't worked out the end. I hope you help me with that. I'm going to end this interview. You know, I'm going to fire somebody. What have I done? You've what have I done? You've been every chance you can get, man. Someone tell me why vanilla cream pie is storming off this set when I've done nothing. Interview over, man. Done deal. Oh, my God. Someone phone a replacement. Because, uh, gosh. Well, vanilla ice is his own worst enemy. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>